G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be crushing and panning out this rock. I'll just give you a, a closer look. There it is. It's, um, I'm not sure what that dark colour rock is. Looks like an iron stone. And it's got these um, quartz veins running through it. And it's mineralised. You can see all the rusty, the rusty red. More so on that side. And um, anyway, I'm going to break this rock up into smaller pieces. Put it through the crusher. And then pan it out and see if we get any gold out of it. If there's gold in this, then I'll have to go back and look for, for some more of this type of rock. Yeah, because I found this at a at an old timer's working. It was on the waste pile. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you when I'm crushing. Okay, let's crush some rocks. That's it there. It looks nice and juicy. Looks like good stuff. Okay guys, pan number one, let's see what we can get, yeah. and um, hang around for the wrap up at the end of the video guys because I'm doing a giveaway, if you live in, West, in Western Australia or Australia you might be interested, so watch at the end of the video. Yeah, be interesting to see if I get anything out of this. This was um, on the waste pile of a of a digging, um, a shaft actually. They dug a uh, shaft. I don't know. I'm not sure. It'd probably be fairly deep because the um, the waste pile was fairly big. So this was this rock sort of stuck out. It was different to the rest of the rock. So I'm thinking that it might even. Well, I'm hoping it's a piece of ore. And, uh, and there's some gold in that. Okay, guys, let's have a let's have a bow peep here and see if we can get some gold. Looks like sulphides in there. All that dark material looks like sulphides. You can see it flashing a bit. Now, there might be some fine gold in amongst this. I won't know until I have a look under my jeweler's loop. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number two. And, yes, it, under the jeweler's loop, it looks like very fine gold. So, I won't be 100% sure until I look under the microscope. Unless, unless in one of these pans we, we get some big pieces that we can actually see. Yeah, so it looks like gold and um, and sulphides. So, oh, that's good. This is all uh, 
all a uh, part of prospecting, guys. You just gotta just get out there and and look for rocks, especially if there's certain rocks that are different to the rest of the rocks in the area, and, uh, and you just crush them up, pan them out, and just see see what's in them. Especially being um, being quartz like this rock was quartz with another type of rock mixed with it, and plus it was rusty. So it tells you there's sulphides in the material. And um, sulphides, sulphides are a good indicator of gold or the presence of gold. Okay, guys, let's pan this back and see if we can get a decent speck so you can see it. Instead of this small stuff, nah, and there's heaps, I can see heaps and heaps of sparkly bits in here at the back of the pan. Yeah, it might be just um, really super fine gold again. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with another pan. Okay, pan number three. And looking at uh, what's left in the pan, pan number two, it looks like fine pieces of gold. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Under the jeweler's loop, looks like really fine pieces of gold in the mix. So, when I look under the microscope, I'll be 100% sure. But, um, yeah, just just fine gold again, guys. I mean, the gold's there, but it's, it's just trying to find a, a spot where it's a bit richer, where the pieces are a bit bigger. Hopefully the day will come when I find a good spot. Okay. See if we can get a big speck out of this pan. Be good to get just one decent piece that you can actually see. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. All that material at the back of the pan, all sparkly stuff. All up here, it's all sparkly. And that's where the little pieces of gold are. So I'm just snuffering it up. And I'll put it in the pan when I've finished. And uh, yeah, dry it out and just run the microscope over it. I'll get back to you with another pan, guys. Okay. Pan number four. And um, I apologise for the dogs, they're playing up. And um, it looked like more gold in that last pan as well, but like I said, just really fine, super fine gold. Maybe I need to get back into those creeks and have a, have another look around those creeks. That might be the go. Okay guys, let's see what we've got in this pan. Yeah, a lot of fine material up there. I can see right now what appears to be really fine gold up here in the back there. It really looks like fine gold and there's some other metal, maybe metal off the crusher as well. Yeah. Okay guys, I'll get back to you with the last pan. Okay. Pan number five. Lucky last pan. Yeah, and as I said guys, hang around.
for the end because I'm doing a giveaway. Mr. Gold was kind enough to donate um, some giveaway material. So I'm giving it away to you guys. You can, you can see the material is really rusty. You can see, tell by the water, it's really rusty. That's the iron. There was, so there's a lot of iron in this in this rock. Okay, let's have a look. See if we can get a decent piece of gold in this pan. There's something that you can see. No. Just like the other pans, just super fine material. A couple of pieces of steel there off the crusher. But up in here is where I'm getting all the, just all fine gold. Super fine, yeah. Okay guys, I'll get back to you at the wrap up. Well guys, that was interesting. Um, in the pan, when I finished, when I tipped out the stuffer bottle in the pan, I could actually see, oh, I counted about four specks of gold in the pan, I could see them. Um, but what I'll do is I'll run the microscope over it and show you guys all the gold. There's, looks like there's quite a few specks in there. But just micro, micro specs, yeah, unfortunately. Um, I'll just show you what I've, what I've made for, the, for Mr. Gold. Maybe I might have to take this out in the sunlight, I don't know. Um, I've made these. I've made four of them up. This is Marshmallow Rock. If you're not familiar with the Marshmallow Rock, go back in my videos, because you know, I've got videos of where I cut this material up. It's only found in one spot in the world it's found in Western Australia the only spot in the world that I know of I've researched it and it's the only place where you find this this stone yeah so I've made up four four little um, uh, coasters cup coasters to put your cup of tea on yeah I've made these up and they're going to Mr Gold my old buddy Hope, hopefully he'll be uh, well and up and around up and about um, within the next month or two and you can get out there and find some gold yeah now mr. gold sent me some he sent me some books now these are from the the West Australian mines department and I've never seen these before but they're basically an atlas and I hope this camera's gonna oh, I might move this out the sun Hopefully this, this um, camera will do it justice and in there it's got all the um, mineral deposits all marked in and it's got a really good map and uh, yeah this is just on Western Australia guys so if you're interested in one of these one of these books it's got all the minerals marked in gold iron silver lead everything they're all marked in there all the gold triangles that you can see all those oh, gold diamonds I should say yellow diamonds that they indicate precious uh, precious metals yeah so your gold silver all that sort of thing yeah but um, it's all on Western Australia everything marked in on Western Australia yeah uh, and, that, and that's what it's called Atlas of Mineral Deposits and Major Petroleum Projects in Western Australia, 2023, so last year. But even though it's last year, it doesn't matter. All, all this stuff is up to date, yeah. So if you want to win one, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And just leave a comment, guys. Leave a comment. Uh, maybe why you would want one of these books. I've got two of them. So I've got two to give away. So if you want one, just um, leave a comment. I'll bring this back in a bit closer so you can see me.
yeah, they're um, they're quite an interesting book, and like I said, it's got all the all the um, deposits for your gold, silver, gemstones, every, everything that's in there, all marked in. So if you're from the eastern states and you travel over the west, you might be interested in one of these if you haven't got one. I'd, I'd imagine, um, like I said, I've never seen these before, but obviously you can get them from the mines department in Western Australia. Yeah, um, that's about all I want to say. Um, thank you Prospecting 101, Mr Gold, for sending me these books so that I can give them away to my subscribers. Thank you very much. And uh, we all wish you a speedy recovery. We want to see you out there. We want to see some more videos from you, Prospecting 101. Yeah, uh, that's about all, all guys. That's so. If you want to win a book, leave a comment, and um, maybe I might make some more of these up. Not necessarily out of marshmallow rock, maybe out of a different type of rock, and uh, I'll give them out to you guys. Yeah, they're a bit rustic. They're not exactly square because the stone that I cut it wasn't big enough. So um, you got the rustic look. Yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and helping my channel grow. Stay safe out there, be good, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye.